One of the biggest reasons people don't succeed is because they leave too much to chance. Let me say that again. One of the biggest reasons people don't succeed is because they leave too much to chance. Now, what I mean is, everyone, statistics, I read an interesting survey the other day that said people that make more than 60,000 a year almost invariably have a personal information management system. They have a to-do list. They have a ta task management system. And it's incredibly important because here, here, here's the issue. Um, most of us stress out, not because we have things to do, but because many of those things are floating around our head and we can't remember them all. And we sit around stressing over things we have no control about. Task management systems help you control your life. They help you get that to-do list in place. Now, you can obviously overdo it. I had a friend years ago in one of my first jobs that spent the first, literally, the first hour of his day fixing his to-do list. Now, he never really accomplished anything important because he spent so much time working on his to-do list. But the fact is, a to-do list can streamline your life in an incredibly important way. And there's a lot of ways to do it. Some people do it with a piece of paper, some with a moleskin, some with a program. I have a to-do list, a kind of a task management system called Things. Now, I'm a Mac guy, so on my Mac it's called Things. It's by a company called Cultured Code. I had a, a similar one called Task Manager. There's a lot of, a lot of you, you can Google Task Manager, Google um, to-do list, and whether you're a Windows person or a Mac person, you can come up with a really interesting list. Some are free, in fact, very, very many are free, but some cost a little bit. My, my program, Things, cost a little bit, but it's incredibly versatile, and it's really had a huge impact on my life. In fact, my Things program also has an iPhone application, and they sync together, so no matter where I am, I can find out what's important, what's the next thing on my list that I need to do. Now, there's a lot of guys out there, and in fact, I'm a huge fan of David Allen, who came up with a getting things done kind of concept. And, and if you know anything about that, you know that that can be a pretty rigorous program. There's a great book out called Getting Things Done that David wrote. And I'd encourage you to get it. I mean, really encourage you to get it, because the thing that broke through for me for, with David's teaching is that, first of all, just get it down. Get it down. You know, in the old days, before I knew anything about to-do lists and task management programs, I would just write it down on anything I could. And then invariably, at the end of the night, I'd get to my bed, and uh, as part of my undressing and getting ready for bed ritual, I would just pull all the slips of paper out of my pocket, matchbook covers, napkins, you know, paper scraps of things that I'd written ideas down, because I get ideas all day long and things that I need to do. And i just empty them on my nightstand, and the next morning I'd try to consolidate them and put them into some kind of a list. Well, the thing is now I have my iPhone and I have my Mac, so I can get the idea down. And Dave said, Dave's idea is put it down in kind of an inbox. You get all your ideas down there. And then when you have a few moments later, you can actually start sorting them. And I sort my to-do list, my projects, uh, and it may be client projects, different clients that we're working with at a certain time. It may be by book projects, books that I'm working on. Maybe by family things, or maybe our upcoming vacation, or you know, a family reunion, or something else. Your project could be about anything. And I think David considers a project something that has more than one step to get it done. But the idea is you sort it out and you get it organized and then you can start prioritizing. And Dave, it's interesting, David Allen cross-references your tasks, the things you need to do, with where you want to do them. So on things, I can put tags on my deal. So for instance, if I have five tasks for a certain client, I can also tag them that these two are phone calls I need to make, these two are scripts I need to write, and these two are, so, and you can tag them any number of ways. So then when I sit down at my desk and I'm ready to work, I can hit certain tags and all the phone calls I need to make for all my different clients and projects will pop up. Or if I'm ready to write, if I'm getting, you know, up in the morning, I'm ready to do some serious creative writing, I click the tag and all my writing projects from all my different clients and things will come up. So you can cross-reference them and not have to just waste your time going through reams and reams and reams of tasks. The important thing here is get a system. Get a system. I've discovered the most successful people I know have some kind of a system that allows them to organize and more than that, prioritize your tasks. Remember, prioritize your tasks. If you're not prioritizing your life, you're wasting an enormous, enormous amount of time because you're spending so much time doing things that really don't matter. You know, the thing you need to be doing right now is the thing that's most important for your success. 
and that's what priorities are all about and a task management system will help you do it there's a lot of really good ones out there and you know there's some omni focus is one that that is it's just too complicated for me i'm not a really complicated guy i want somebody that gets down to the meat of it but if you're kind of anal retentive or you're mr detail and you need to really have a lot of different angles and ways of looking at your tasks and your to-do list then go for some of the more complicated ones but for things uh, other task, you know, task manager. E I think it's called Easy Task Manager. That's what it was. Those kind of things are much simpler. They allow you to cross-reference by context and by tags, and it makes things so much better. So the point is, get organized. Get organized. Stop wasting your time doing things that don't matter, and start focusing your life towards success.